right, we are at a beach right next to Balandra, which is kind of the famous beach in La Paz. We're gonna get our paddleboard out. Wish us luck! We're about to do some spear fishing. We hopped on the paddleboard. All of the beaches in La Paz are closed. But I talked to a police officer yesterday and they said that if we're on the paddleboard, we can just be out in the water. So um, we're gonna be spear fishing, playing around on the paddleboard. And we found this little secret beach that you can only get to by a paddleboard. So we might hang out on that. Or boat. You could see that the water was super clear. We were getting really excited. So I got on all of my gear and hopped in. There was so much life under that water. Sometimes you look and it doesn't look like there's anything there and then you get in and you've just got an entirely different world underneath you. For example, these stingray were so well camouflaged that you'd miss them all the time. And they're so pretty and so fast. Now usually when you're spear fishing, you're gonna want some coral or some rocks or anything that the fish kind of hide and take cover on. Where I first dropped in, it was purely sand. So I spent a good hour or so swimming around trying to find some fish. I had been told that there was a big drop off at this beach, but we could not find it. So instead we went back to the shallow reef and rock area right next to the land. Not a ton of huge fish, but lots of really tasty medium sized fish. So I had just gotten a new spear that had the Euro catchment system on the back versus the shark fin. So I needed to test that out. I also wanted to test out uh, just one single band being cocked on the gun because we were in such shallow water. So I took this little snapper and you can see I got him right in the guts. I was feeling really good about my equipment. Uh, the gun was shooting right, the spear felt right. One band felt the right amount of power in the shallow rock area. So we then started looking for some larger fish. And I had seen some mullet running around you can see them here, they camouflage really, really well against that sand. They were in quite shallow water as well, so I figured I could get a couple of them. My GoPro mount had broken, and so I'm just holding the GoPro with my hand, which reminds me, if anybody has a good goggle that can mount a GoPro on it, that runs small, I am in desperate need of one. I've tried a couple out and half of them don't fit my face or the equipment's really crappy and will just fall right off. Please drop in a comment of good goggles with a GoPro mount. Okay, back to the mullet. We got some. You can see that I got him right in the tail. These mullet are super fast. And again, I only had one band on my spear and so my shot was just a little late. Um, and these things are strong. You can see them whipping against my hand and my finger was caught in between the fish and the pole and that thing hurt. Those fish are strong. We got a handful more of those and then headed back to the car to clean and cook. Gray also got in the water with me, which is something he usually does. He loves it. Golly, Angie, I feel like I'm in a James Bond movie. I really am so thankful to have Angie. She is such a help while I'm out there spear fishing. she's handling the kids, and it's so great to have her. You had a bit of a haul. I also have to say, I, I don't know that I've ever got fish in such a beautiful place. If you have the chance to go to La Paz, you have to do it. Okay, we got these all cleaned up. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can find a restaurant that will cook them, or I'll see if my grill is open at our Airbnb, and we will cook them on the grill. One of the things I love about mullet is that they're super easy to clean and the scales come off really simply. Okay, we found a restaurant that's gonna cook our fish for 10 bucks. They're gonna give us rice, a salad, all for 10 bucks. That's a pretty good dinner. My doctor says that I should try to catch one of my meals every day. The name of the restaurant is El Tecolote. And this is my James Bond woman. She hangs out on the paddleboard while I go spearfish. And then I say, hey, come here. And I attach my fish to her paddleboard so that she attracts more fish. Another reason we like this setup, we don't have to wear clothes at this restaurant. And guess what? What? There's a little hideout of ours. 
in a little hideout. That's where me and Angie go and kiss, huh? Hi, Angie. We have a fish beard. She likes my fish beard. We thought it was a good idea to touch a cactus. You only have to do it once to learn it, huh? Do you want to touch it again? No. Do you like this place? Yeah. Pretty great, huh? Yeah. This beach is just past Beach Balandra. That's about the most cliche thing to order in Mexico, yeah. huh? But it looks freaking good. How do you like it? I want good. good? Yeah. Good job, you said good. Say it again. Good. Right there is Isla Espiritu Santo. You want to go there on a boat? Okay. You want to go? Yes. Are you going to drive the boat? Yes. I cannot describe to you how excited I was when they brought out my fish. This is the best way to eat fish. I took that fish out of the ocean only hours ago. They cooked the fish whole and it is crispy. The fish is so fresh. You don't even have to put seasoning on it. A little bit of lime and it is delicious. It's really hard to think of a better day than this. And then to have such a beautiful background and setting to the fun adventure. I love making these videos and I love having these adventures. Please support me by subscribing and liking this video.